Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm coming at you with a response to a contest, actually, a, a video question contest uh, by Trey Pacer. If you have never been to his channel, check him out. He's a huge movie buff. He does some pretty good stuff. He's got these two awesome Terminator skulls. I think one's from Terminator 2 and the other's Salvation, maybe? Anyway, he calls them Sam and Max. Uh, they're pretty awesome, actually. But he's got this contest going on. He's giving away some Blu-ray uh, steelbooks, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, he's doing, I think, uh, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight uh, as a prize. Uh, another prize is the trilogy for Lord of the Rings uh, steelbooks. And then uh, the third prize is Sucker Punch and Inception, I think. Uh, which is kind of interesting because I've never seen either of those films. So, any rate, the reason I'm really posting uh, a response to it is because I really like the question. The question was, you have four options. You'd have to face three villains of uh, horrordom out of horror movies, uh, or you'd have to give up your movie collection uh, forever and ever and ever and ever. So what would you do? And the three villains that he chose were Pinhead from Hellraiser, uh, Jigsaw from the Saw series, and uh, Wishmaster. So you could either face one of these three villains to keep your movie collection, or the fourth option is you just give it up altogether, forever and ever, burnt to the ground, and you can never collect again. So what would you do, and why? So I thought that was pretty good, and... Um, so I figured, okay, why not? I, I, I want to, you know, give a response to this and mostly interact with all the YouTubers out there and uh, movie buffs. I'm obviously a huge movie buff. And before I actually uh, give my answer and what I would do and why, I thought I'd give a quick tour of the horrible disarray that my movie collection is in. I'm setting up a digital surround sound system. I've got the speakers and the wires and I've got the unit and the... the um, uh, cables I need to hook it up. I just need to put shelving units in my entertainment stand. So um, I got movies everywhere. But I figure since we're talking about movies and we're talking about our movie collection, here is a peek of my DVD, Blu-ray, and Blu-ray 3D collection. All right. So here's a just a sample of some of my movie collection. This is primarily right here my Star Trek and Star Wars stuff Superman there's some uh, transformer stuff down here um, <clears throat> got kind of stuff stacked up a little bit I got some box sets of some things here Monty Python Beast Machines Deadwood Nightmare Transformers Iron Man these are the two mask uh, editions which are pretty nice and the reason I got things stacked up is because this cabinet right here, I need to put shelving units in because I'm putting my um, new stereo system down here, which is why there's speakers there and all that kind of jazz. So it's kind of housing some transformers right now. A little Jake Harper on Two and a Half Men. And then we also have movies over here. Again, this is where the overflow, if you look... In the back, back here, there's a wall of movies. Um, I got things just stacked up kind of randomly right now. Various things. Um, big 3D Blu-ray guy. I got quite a few Blu-ray movies and 3D movies, as you can see. And of course, there's stuff back there too so I got stuff everywhere right now uh, I got stuff underneath the television itself there and then I've got movies up over here this is nice Empire Strikes Back lunchbox uh, buddy of mine gave that to me for my birthday and then that is an Autobot symbol that was painted by an artist locally here in Indianapolis. Uh, goes by Starving Artist. It's an oil painting. It's actually very, very nice. 
Um, and I got more box sets of stuff here. My Lord of the Rings DVD box set that I really like. My Watchmen director's cut. Some Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future. Some more Beast Wars stuff. Lord of the Rings Blu-ray. And just a variety of movies here. So that's my DVD and Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D collection. Just thought I give you guys a little peek of that. And then I've got some movie props up at the top and various other things up there. So that's the movie collection. All right. So which of the three would I pick? I've got Pinhead from Hellraiser, Jigsaw from the Saw series, or the Wishmaster. Well, I would say out of the three, I would choose Pinhead, and this is why I would face him. And keep in mind, facing does not mean you're going to win, right? Uh, you're just facing him, and you're, you're probably going to die. Because you're not a big name star. I'm not a big name star, are you? No, you're going to get slaughtered pretty quickly. But since I've got my choice of obvious death coming my way in order to save my video collection, I, I would choose Pinhead because I think he's the most interesting of the three villains. And, and this is why. Uh, Wishmaster, he's kind of a genie, I guess, in... He's also, in that fact, he's going to give you a wish, but it's going to come back and bite you in the ass sort of deal. So very much in the old styles, the old stories of GDs. I'm not messing with that. It's, no, not, not for me. No thanks. Jigsaw is an interesting option because you, you might be able to defeat him if you faced him. Uh, he's just kind of an insane nut job that's put together a human mousetrap and he's, you know, wanting to see your pain and torture as you try to get through this trap. But I'm going to go with Pinhead. And the reason I'm going with Pinhead is because he takes what's done in the Jigsaw movies and demonizes it. You know, uh, he, you, you have this. The lament box. The puzzle box. Okay, and this is this is a cool little prop. Uh, I've probably shown this in one of my "What Do I Collect" videos, which I collect a lot of movie props. And this is actually um, each one of these squares is actually a stand for a Hellraiser figure. You could take these apart, and there's pegs for the figure to sit onto. Which I once I put this together, I've never taken it apart. Um, I never did get the Hellraiser figures. Um, I originally saw this at the Comic Carnival on the west side in Indianapolis, and I passed it, and I found it again at the south side some years later, and I picked it up. I've had this since, oh, Lord, probably the late 90s. So I've had this thing for a while. And the reason I would choose Pinhead, like I said, you've got to figure this puzzle box out, and then it opens up, the Cenobites come through, Pinhead comes and drags your ass to hell. Well... If you watch the movies, at least the first one, that's one of my favorites, uh, Christy pretty much tricks, stops Pinhead with this thing. She's able to uh, reformat it into the uh, diamond pattern uh, that's uh, kind of the a miniature version of Leviathan, the, the god hell ruler thing that controls the Cenobites and runs the Hellraiser's version of hell. And... You know, pretty much halts him right there. I mean, so you can use the box against Pinhead. And other reasons I like Pinhead over the other characters is there is some very deep character development on him. Uh, you know, his, in his human form, and, and was it World War II? You know, he saw so many atrocities, he kind of gave up, and then he was in India, and uh, William Spencer, I think, is the name of the character. And he... Um, gets the puzzle box in India, and he's drugged to hell, becomes pinhead, kind of loses his memories. Well, he gets ground back to reality a little bit in the films, and, and he remembers that. And it actually ends up, at one point, I think they separate his good, good self, puts him in the dreamlands, and his bad self, um, uh, they put in, what, what do they call it, the um, 
not statues of spirits. Um, oh, I can't remember. And he ends up coming out of uh, is the one with the uh, doctor that they uh, turn into a Cenobite, uh, the mental health doctor. And uh, he also has kind of a sense of honor, I guess, because he was, he, you know, he finds out that the, the one girl was tricked into uh, working the puzzle box and she didn't want to do it because you got to kind of want to actually do it to figure it out sort of deal. So he's very interesting. He's very layered in character development, much more so than the other two characters, and I think it would be a lot cooler to face that character who has so much dimension to him, and it's just, I mean, he's demonic, and there's just, it's so deep and rich in the horror films, I think it would be a lot cooler to face that guy with this than it would try to figure out the other characters, how to, how to beat them, so that is my choice, and that is why and I think that is a fantastic question, um, Trey Pacer. And thanks for uh, putting that out there, that video challenge out there. Uh, thanks for putting up a uh, you know giveaway, a YouTube giveaway. Contests are always fun. I, I do contests. In fact, I think I'm going to do one pretty soon myself. So I appreciate that. It's pretty awesome. Congratulations on 800 subscribers. I think I'm two uh, subscriptions away from getting 100. I'm almost up to 100,000 video views. So please subscribe to my channel. Um, take a look at some of the other videos I do. I do stuff on Transformers, Blu-ray 3D. I just did a series of top 10 movies out there. I do aquarium stuff. I, I do all kinds of movie updates, stuff across the board. So check my channel out if you've never seen my channel before. Um, you know, Please subscribe if you like me, if you want to see stuff come out from me. And uh, if there's anything that you're interested in that you think I'd, uh, you know, be interested in doing, shoot me a message, uh, leave me a comment. I appreciate you guys' time, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks again, Trey Pacer. Congratulations, brother.